Well, hi everyone. It's Saturday night, February 1st, 2025. I got a notification from Rob Cody in Rhode Island that uh, there had been a, a really near miss disaster with the demolition of the westbound Washington Bridge that occurred on Friday. And uh, there's this Go Local article that just posted a few hours ago. So I wanna show you what uh, is shown from the Go Local article, but more importantly, let you know what the implications are and what this means going forward. So you can see significant section that they were removing fell all at once on top of a barge. Apparently no one was hurt or injured, but it could have been a very different story. It's a lot of debris, it's a huge mess. And it looks to me, well, I'll, sh I'll show you where I think this particular portion of the bridge is. And again, I wanna thank uh, 3D Scans, Christopher, who provided a drone flight for me the day after Thanksgiving. That's the most recent footage I have, but it's useful to show you the area of the work that I believe was occurring when this sudden collapse occurred. So this is the ramp from westbound that goes over to Gano Street. That's this curved area. That looks to me like the area that, that collapsed. You can see it in that section there. And again, this is the area we're talking about. Let's just run some of this drone footage to give you an overall orientation for this location. Now I had just obtained from uh, APRA request the full proposals from Aetna as well as Sigma Manafort for the original demolition contract uh, for the Washington Bridge, which at that time was only to include the superstructure. So everything but the piers and pile foundations. So it's a very detailed proposal and I'll draw your attention to this page here, structural stability. Now let's look at this in more detail. Stability of the structure will be analyzed for all phases of demolition and maintained throughout. External compression and tension elements will ensure that stability load paths are present where required. So this is very serious because aside from the potential hazard to personnel and people in, in, that happen to be in the area, it has serious implications as to what could have happened if a large section of uh, bridge that they were demoing fell into the eastbound bridge. That obviously can happen. So I think what RIDOT needs to do is have a stand down and suspend demolition activity and conduct investigation and determine how this exactly came about. And uh, it, it needs to be taken very, very seriously. This is what they call a near miss accident in the industry. So this isn't, oh, we'll just clean up and go back to work as usual. This needs a, a thorough vetting, in my opinion. So I'll put a link to this Go Local article in the description for this video. Also, I had this other video queued up. I'm posting it on Monday, but I do a deep dive on the financial aspects of this westbound bridge demolition contract. And it's uh, quite interesting. You know, RIDOT spent an extra $1.9 million to select Aetna over Sigma Manafort for the initial demolition contract. So please stay tuned for that video. It's gonna drop uh, Monday morning. So with that, I wanna send a shout out to those of you who have provided funding through Buy Me A Coffee. That's a great way to support the channel. I really appreciate it. There's a link in the description if you're so inclined. I also certainly wanna thank those of you who are channel members. Uh, channel members get to view these videos early typically as well as those of you who provided super thanks. That's another great way to support the channel. Please stay tuned for future videos. And again, look out for that update on the bridge demolition costs that will post Monday morning, February 3rd. Thanks very much, everyone.